worked on the VRL. And uh, my husband's American. I'm American. My kids are. I've got one in the UK. He's a U.S. Air Force, and he's a he'll be a lifer for them. I've got uh, my oldest son is in Mexico. Lived in Spain eleven years, so I do speak fluent Spanish because there was somebody on here from Mexico. And I live in Florida. For all of you just down the road in Daytona Beach, <laughs> I'm like literally twenty minutes away from you. And I will be here at PXP, and it is great to connect. And just like Todd says. We are going to build big things in Canada. I'm going to help Martine out because taking a country to a whole new level basically means all hands on deck. But what do we have in our hands? So I just wanted to just, some of you already know this. Let me see if I can find my uh, PowerPoint here. I do like PowerPoint still. So let me see if I can get this. Can you all, oops, can everybody see my screen? It's there. Got yeah. It. All right, so the title is Vice President of Field Development is probably global, and I'm the interim VP of Asia Pacific, and then they just threw Canada in there as well. But because I'm right here in Orlando, I do a lot of little meetings locally, and um, I was just recently just down the road in, in Sanford, so uh, let's, let's go. Um, so I just want to talk about why Partnico, really high level, our industry, areas of growth, and then what you should know when you are going to go global. Because you see, you will get in a rhythm and you will get in a role with your system. And I'm not saying to stop it, but at the moment you cross the border, there are some things that you need to be considering because it's all about what that person wants. First of all, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these two gentlemen. And why is, Dar is Darren is really important to me because the $1.4 billion that a company that I came from, that I worked for for 16 years, that I helped build and put together from day one, really did not take care of its finances. So I was like, I am never going to work for a company that doesn't take it seriously and doesn't put budgets in place and doesn't consider that and doesn't control the payout because it's a waste of everybody's time. You're putting all this effort and energy into a business. So I believe in Darren Zobrist and I need to believe in someone from my you know, my head to my toes. It's got to be because I'm going to get out there and I'm going to share that with everybody on stage. John, boy, you take the top leader from a company for 21 years. And the reason that he decided to purchase the company in the first place is because he was terrified of losing his business. He's been with one company. And so he, when he's on stage talking about what you're going through, he's been there, you know, and the other part about it is me being pretty international, growing up all over the place. So did John, he grew up in Japan and that makes him a little bit different. If you know anything about the Japanese, they're phenomenal at listening. They're very team orientated. They don't really wanna know just about themselves. They want everybody involved in recognition. They listen and then they make decisions. So John's a little bit different from a lot of other people because he has all of that experience and of living overseas too. So they have the values. And the values will be important. Culture and values to a company, you can have a system. But in the end of the day, what keeps people in is they've got to love your culture and they've got to love your, your values. So let's talk about growing our business. Let's look at the United States. 342 million people. You really don't need to go anywhere else. There is enough people in the continental United States that you can be busy for the rest of your life. You know, but it's huge. It's contributing about 36 billion in retail sales. That's 2023 data. There's 6.1 million individuals engaged as entrepreneurs in direct selling activities. So there's professionals out there. I already heard on your call, people who said, show me the comp plan. I know this. I'm going like, wow. And they learned it in a weekend. They've got to be an industry professional <laughs> because even me coming in from another company, it took me. I mean, writing one sheets, creating this, recording. It took me, I think, about three months to learn this comp plan. Honestly, I'll be completely honest. So if you don't get it, please don't feel bad. Just, just know that one of the best ways to learn our comp plan is as you earn. You learn as you earn. You go in there and go, where did that money come from? Aha, I get it. And that's a good way. But get the experts to share it if you're not feeling comfortable. And there's approximately 1,300 network marketing companies operating within the direct selling industry. So this is what I was looking for. What's gonna make the company I go to work for different? What am I gonna feel proud? You know, like it's, you gotta be like a palm tree in, in a storm. 
you know, because people will come at you. They are so sold. They are, you know, they have getting in private jets and going all over the place. But that does not make a company great. It is our people. It is building organically. It is hearing your stories. It is having good leadership from the top down. It is having the best products in the industry that make a company great and a company that has a future plan and they they set a goal and then they work that plan just like you are all doing that as well. So let's take a look at the demographics in the United States as well. So, you know, I hate the word black, white or whatever, but this was the data and it's the most up-to-date data that I had. So 72% are, you know, white American. Then we got 14% are Hispanic or Latino. But with that 14% had a huge door into Mexico and Latin America and actually into Canada as well. And then there's 5.1% are Asian. And then we have the African Americans 3.8 and unknown and Af American Indian um, is 0.3. So this is the demographics that we're working with here. What I love about our drops is they cross all races. It's really interesting when you're working with skincare <laughs> because all of us have a different type of skin and not all skincare, especially body lotion, work on everybody. So having products that cross and that people feel like weight, heart, you know, cardio issues and all of that cross all, all boundaries. So that's what we're working with. And then let's look at Mexico. That has a population of 130 million people. I think 29 million live in Mexico City, which is where my oldest son lives as, as, as well. It is one massive people-driven city. But, you know, it's $19.48 billion, the industry down there. And there's about 3.3 million independent sales representatives. And uh, you can see there, wellness is 35% of what Mexico is interested in. Um, and then let's look at Canada. Here, Canada is so exciting because Can Canadians are, in, well, they're just like the salt of the earth people. They're very down. They're a little bit, a little bit more like the British, like a little bit more direct, I would say. But the industry anticipated that it's going to be a $5 billion market in 2024. It's a massive country, got a, a much smaller population than the United States, approximately one Point thirty seven million independent sales representatives are engaged in network marketing and it's growing since people work at home, definitely since the pandemic and that switchover, it's been a huge growing and there's more than 200 companies involved in the direct selling model. So it's, it's nice for us that there's fewer direct selling, but there's also, it's a huge market and you can see as you guys are spreading into Canada as well. And then I just threw in Australia because one of the reasons why they asked me to take care of Canada is because Australia and Canada are both Commonwealth countries and for a lot of the operational parts and uh, they have similar standards for registering products and the way you can do business. So there's like 1.7 billion in revenue as of 2024. It's also another massive country. There are more than 350,000 consultants and approximately 400 Australians are engaged in direct selling and multi-level marketing activities. Um, and so it is another up and coming and Australia is right up there with the data too. So wellness, if you take a look at it, how interesting, maybe in Mexico, it was not their number one, but in Asia Pacific, it's way up there. 41% of the people want wellness. In America, it's actually higher than that because I got another stat that I just pulled yesterday and then Europe as well, but we are growing hugely in Europe. So this is the sales by category and the DSA stats, and that's 20, which is the Direct Sales Association, which is a guideline for all of us who work in network marketing, 34.7% wellness. So I'm bringing this to you to say, did you invest, because a $29 starter kit is an investment, did you invest in a category that is the most important category that people are looking for? And you can all congratulate yourself right now because yes, you did. 34.7% are interested in wellness. And that's exciting. And I think you're all learning, and some of you already know this, that people turn to direct sales because it meets their name needs. But you got to ask those questions. 
Like some of you are experts at asking questions because as people answer your questions, you can help them meet their needs. If somebody's looking for long-term supplemental income, which apparently 62% of the people are, provides flexibility. Apparently 65% of the people need something that can be flexible. They can do it early morning. They can do it at night. They can do it on their lunch hour. You know, not everybody just quits their job and, and joins or does it full time. They work into that. And can they, 62% products at a discount. So what am I taking out of this slide? Those words, they need to hear it. Somehow, long-term supplemental income provides flexibility. Products at a discount are biggies. And then minimum investment. For some people, they may buy, just like Todd said, a $3,000 kit. But what they're hearing is you will run across people who don't have the extra money. And is they need it more than you do. I mean, I used to work with this guy in the industry and he had this wonderful sense of humor and a wonderful say, we'd be talking to somebody. And at this point, I think we were in our forties and he'd say, I'd be talking to somebody and they would tell me, well, I love what you presented. I just can't afford it. And he goes, I would just look them in the eye. And I said, at your age, if you can't afford this, you need it more than I do. And he did it in such a way, it wasn't really an insult. It was, it was humor. But the fact that you can start for $29.95 and then you can invest in your first box or three boxes or four boxes, however you do it, sell that, get your money back is huge. And that means that we welcome absolutely everybody. We don't discriminate against age. Well, you have to be 18 and older. So we don't discriminate after that or culture or color or education, nothing. It is even for everybody. If you have a spark, if you have a need, then we can meet that need. And yeah. let's look at our company facts really quickly too. This was from 2022. So I can tell you for sure, 2023, we did over $300 million. We're available in 50 markets. We have multilingual customer service. We have multilingual experience management. We are an award-winning multilingual website. We are science-based products. Our products can come up against any product in the market, just as a little side story. So we're working in Korea to get an Omega Plus because it's very difficult to import Omega and the labs in Korea are amazing. So it's taken us a year and a half to get there, but we're finally launching this month an Omega Plus, which is we've imported the Noni, we've imported all the goodies. And then it came to where does the Omega come from? Well, this anchovy, it's like when you go to the grocery store and you buy, you know, like these amazing eggs with these chickens that have been lovingly stroked and they, you know, they lay these eggs. Our anchovies come from the deepest water in the Pacific Ocean and it's so clean and it's so tested that I'm like, I cannot believe the quality control that we go into in order to produce a product. Not only did the Korean lab have to double quality test when they finished the product, they had to send it to two of our labs where we did an independent testing on that as well and then they release it and then it's ready to sell. So we're not making it up. And we spend a lot of money on research and development. And that's probably we, why we have like a, a, a neurosurgeon on the call. That's pretty amazing that somebody like that would want to join and he's got to feel good about the quality of our products. You know, we are true protected partnership that as you get involved with Partner Co more, you'll realize how important that is. You don't want anybody changing your compensation plan or the way that you're making money right now or the way we pay our customers. That's really important because that's how you're establishing your business. So we have a partner council and no decision is made without getting them involved and thinking and thinking of timelines as well. We have luxury trips and travel, one of my favorite parts. And some of you have been to Tahiti this year. Some of you have been to the Bahamas this year. I know you're going to learn at PXP where your next trip is. I know Asia Pacific is going to this amazing island in Malaysia. So these are important places that we go to a little bit different around the world. So just know not everybody goes on the same incentive trip. So as you're building globally, you better find out where that is. And then, of course, we have different philanthropy through partner co-giving. One of the things that they do is in Tahiti, where they have been purchasing the Tahitian noni from all of these farmers for the last 25 years. And they, they have actually sent their kids to school and they've 
they've they've lived off what you know the previous company and partner co have given them we've also built a school there and we give back to the community and then we do local projects around the world as well so these are the countries that we're in you can see and you can find this on our website and there's one sheets as well and all of the people who are involved in partner co know how to have access to this information Right now, I am overseeing Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, and Canada. And obviously, I'll help out in the United States just because dur during the day, I have a lot of time. I don't have much time early morning and late at night. Um, choosing the right company for going global is what I just wanted to give you a mention here is you should know the compensation plan basics. I think it would not be a good idea to suddenly dive into it and, and say, you sign up today and then tomorrow you go to Mexico. You should know and be able to answer some questions. I kind of feel like that the first month that I came and worked for Partnico, like I was talking to people all the time, like, hey, Lucy, where'd you go? And I really didn't know anything. Didn't know about the products, didn't know. I, I kind of wish that I'd just gone dark, quiet, and learned before, and I'm talking about glowing global, global, I'm not talking about sharing your drops. That's completely different there. Um, so if you are going to plan to expand, if you don't feel comfortable, don't know enough, then make sure you are working with someone who does and can step in and help you, you know, because you they people want to know how to make commissions. And when you were talking about the people making what they can make in Partnico, the reason they can do that is we have a lot of money on the front end of our plan. And most companies don't. Their money is on the back end of the plan. And I love that about Partnico because people can get in and they can make a lot of money very quickly. And that's usually when they need it. So that, that as you get to know our plan, you will see that. Um, also be aware of shipping products across the borders can be costly and takes longer. So even if you're doing NFR into Canada, sometimes they have limits and the, you can send more. The problem that you run into with any any country, and you might be lucky, is sometimes they get through customs and sometimes they don't. And when they don't make it through customs or they get called and they can go onto the website and they can actually check the pricing there, is then your, your the person that you're shipping it to can get a phone call and they say, would you mind coming get it out of customs? Oh, by the way, it's gonna cost you $125. So sometimes there are consequences for not finding it. There are all sorts of companies popping up every day now that can help you freight forward products to other countries. The reason this company does not open a new country overnight is sometimes it costs $1.5 billion or two, two, sorry, million dollars, or at least over a million dollars to set up a new company in a foreign country. And we right now would like to take care of what we have. And then as we stabilize, as we get them growing, as we get drops registered, they're not even in all the countries, especially in Asia Pacific, then we see setting up new countries and being able to make it possible for you to be able to continue your business there. You know, create a marketing plan to support your global business, Zooms and calls based on the BP's time zone. I have had a few complaints of people saying, it's 2 a.m. in the morning, they expect me to get on calls at 2 a.m. in the morning. So, you know, maybe as your team grows, maybe you want an international call that you do it on a slightly better time zone. So it's early in the morning or you just do a recording and send it to people because, you know, two, three in the morning, especially if you're in a small house where it makes noise when people are listening, just something to to consider. Um, only share promotions that are that are available in that country. Sometimes we run into the problem that, you know, like there's a promo going in the United States and somebody excitedly sharing somebody with something in Mexico and they have a different promotion or they have a great promotion in Mexico and you have no idea what that promo is. So you just have to find all those things out. Often, especially from Mexico, our, custom, our, our partner support will know that information and the website. But I think if you, if you have an, a big leader, this is where you got to reach out to the Brents, the Todds, to your upline and say, look, I got this big leader from this country. And that's when you get us involved. You know, I'm happy to be involved. Katie Holt Larson's happy to be involved. Uh, Don, John, Darren will be involved too. If it's a big enough team, this is where you bring, bring us in. We figure out, I would immediately, depending on who it is, get them in touch with either Katie or, or the country manager, because if it's a foreign language, let's say it's Vietnamese or something like that, then, then we need help or Korean, then we need help with, with the language. But you don't have to do this by yourself. 
I guess what I'm trying to say there is we are here to help you. That is our sole job, anybody working in corporate. And if I don't think that, then they're in the wrong business. What you need, we need to work with you and try and make it happen and try and move the rocks out of the road, out of the path, so it's easier for you to build your business. You know, find out what ongoing support and training is available. So some countries, we actually have monthly calls and these people can connect and they can feel like they're part of a community. I think you mentioned this on the call. So in the US, you're on the same time zone and you're all talking the same language, even if you are from different states with tiny little accent tweaks there. You know, you imagine if you're across the seas living in Australia, you might not connect as much or, or the language, you know, you want to hear Australian. That's what I've learned anyway. The Aussies love the Aussies. New Zealand loves New Zealand, Vietnamese. So you need to try and at least let them feel part of a community. And often that happens because our country managers do run once or twice a month these global calls and they do these trainings and they invite um, product specialists, especially Barbara Cox or or. Brent West. So you can find out and connect with those calls as well and gradually expand your business into new international markets and get to know the culture and the business. They're so much fun. And if you like to travel, it's such a great way to tra travel and it's such a great tax write off too. Um, so if you have an important leader, please let us know. We'll help you connect and definitely we'll involve the country manager. And we all know it all just starts with one person and all of you sound like you're doing amazingly well. And I just want you to know that we're here to support you and help to take you to the next level. Thank you so much. There we go, Todd. That was your drink with a fire hose. <laughs> that was interesting. I, I was just thinking as you were talking that we gotta have you back soon and we gotta turn it over to you faster. We, we, we didn't get it to you quick enough, but the good news is Folks, we started recording when Lucy started talking, so we didn't have all the IPA stuff. So that recording will be available later today, so you can have all that fantastic information that Lucy obviously spent a lot of time putting together those slides and very, very valuable information, Lucy, and we will have you back soon. And thank you so much for that time. And, and Anthony, I'm sure you'll have the recording available to us, and we'll put it up on a different Facebook group, so you'll have those slides a lot of people are getting all kinds of texts. Ken, how can I get these slides? How can I get these slides? We'll have, uh, they're putting them up right, questions right there in the chat saying the same thing. So we'll have those soon, but thank you, Lucy, so very, very much. You're very welcome. And I will see you guys at PXP, Orlando. Amen. And I'll turn it back over to, uh, who was our, oh, Sherry Key was our guest today, our host today. <laughs> Sherry Key, you can finish us up and have us closed in prayer.